Hi guys, it's Saturday the 13th of November 2021. This video is a mixture of my reality and a vision that I just received. And to be 100% dependent upon our Lord. Let me go over the last 24 hours with you. And I mean like 100% dependent on our Lord now and into the future. Always. Like, uh, last night, so I'll say 24 hours, but like last night, uh, I was standing in this spot, there's a window here, and all day, my left hand, these fingers have been tingling, here, 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 and here, a pain going up my left arm and into my chest, <coughs> it's been like that on and off for a few weeks, but really severe last night, so... I decided to call 111, which is like the non-emergency phone line to like the hospitals and stuff. Anyway, they sent out an emergency ambulance because they thought that I was having a heart attack. Um, it was a, quite a bit of a wait, but eventually the ambulance came and they sat down and they did like a, a mini ECG on me. And some like tests that they do, like really quick tests when they send an ambulance. And they said to me, you're not having a heart attack, which I didn't think I was. I mean, I phoned them because I was more concerned about the tingling in my fingertips, like, you know. Uh, anyway, they said, oh, we think you're having anxiety and this, that, the other. and But, you know, we're a little bit concerned about your diabetes and we want to like take you to hospital just to check your ketone levels. And um, they wanted to check a chemical that gets released from your heart if there's been any problems with your heart. <clears throat> so I didn't want to go, but I agreed and I was sort of grateful for their help. So they took me to the hospital and they, they did a whole load of blood tests on me. Um, they then gave me a x-ray for my chest. They did another ECG and then I sat... <clears throat> in the waiting area, but they came back and they said, <clears throat> well, a doctor said to me, first of all, <clears throat> he believed that the tingling in my fingertips, the pain in my arm, and other pain that I'm experiencing was, uh, I've forgotten the name of it, but it's like some sort of neuropathy or something, something to do with nerve damage. And he said that he suffers from it himself, like, you know, and he said that what I've explained to him sounds exactly like that. He believes that's what it is. Um, we were still waiting on results of my blood test. And then he came to me and he said, look, we've just got the results of your blood test. And he said, um, he said, it's not good. We think that you, there's a possibility you might have blood clots on your chest. He said, you, you're, you've got a kidney impairment. Um, he said your white blood cells are high, your heart's also releasing another chemical or something. He said you've got a lot going on, uh, it's not good, we need to give you an IV and we need to give you antibiotics, like, you know. So they came to me with the antibiotics and they injected it into the cannula, is that what you call it? When they injected it, I instantly threw up. <laughs> not nice, mate, you know. Um... Yeah, proper throwing up all over the place was horrible. Anyway, that was that. Then they put the IV in. Um, and they said, we want to do a CT scan of your chest to rule out any blood clots. We want to do like further blood tests to make sure that whatever's going on with your bloods is... Uh, well, they just wanted to have a look again. So they did another whole complete set of blood tests. God, my throat is so sore. I'm like throwing up, man. Um, they did another, yeah, they did another set of blood tests and they wheeled me into the CT scan and they needed to inject me with some dye, right? And they said, you people can get an allergic reaction from it, but you should be all right. And I said, oh, I was really worried about throwing up again. I said, I don't want that to happen. They said, oh, you know, there's only been one person this year in 2021 that's thrown up from this. You, you won't throw up, you'll be all right. Well, they injected me with the dye, <clears throat> went through the CT scan, and what happened? Instantly started throwing up. 
They were like, you're the second person this year this has happened to. Um, <clears throat> and then my throat started to like sort of close up. Not like, not majorly, but a little bit. Had a banging headache. <clears throat> and I felt rough, mate, like really rough. And then they started panicking and they brought like another doctor in. Um, and I believe I was having an allergic reaction to the dye uh, that they put in me. And they were checking my back and... I was just puking everywhere, I couldn't stand, I couldn't focus, like my head was spinning out, pounding. Oh, it was so terrible. And then they took me to, uh, back to the A&E ward, and they gave me steroids to counteract the reaction to the dye. And um, they gave me um, an anti-sickness drug. Oh, it's terrible, mate, you know. Oh, sorry, my throat really hurts. So then I was sitting in the ward again, my blood results came back, but this time my blood results was completely fine. And they said, oh, we think we mixed up your uh, bloods, like, you know, with somebody else's. I was like, well, how could you possibly do that? And they said, oh, you know, it happens sometimes. Um, <clears throat> well, I don't know, man, you know. <laughs> A lot of people prayed for me, and I'm very grateful, and I, I... I think the original blood results, I really believe they were mine. But um, I believe our Lord healed me in that hospital last night, you know, for, for real, you know. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Anyway, I said, look, I'm still got the tingling going on in my fingers, but it was starting to die off. Incredible, do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah, it's not like what it was. Absolutely amazing. Uh, <coughs> anyway, they, they said, look, we done. They did some more tests on me, and they said your heart is fine. They said like your your bloods is fine. Um, and they sent another doctor, and they said we think you've got um, again. I can't remember, but like something like tunnel something syndrome to do with your hand. They said where there's a nerve. They said you can have like the nerve like like they make an incision and do something with the nerve to deal with the hand to deal with the tingling. So there was a, another doctor thinking that I had this syndrome or have this syndrome thing. And he said, like, this is done for your GP, like a follow up sort of thing. Anyway, look, he said the end results were from there. They're going to write to my GP for like a specialist to look at my nerves. So something to do with syndrome that affects these three fingers and my thumb. The other nerve thing that affects all the nerves in your body, which is created by diabetes, I'm a diabetic. So I think the first doctor was right in his first diagnosis. Um, and then they were saying, you know, we want to check all your nerves all around your body. You know what I mean? All right, so cool. Um, so anyway, leave the hospital, I'll get home. Incredibly exhausted because I didn't get any sleep. Um, I felt really like, really drained, ill, battered, worn out, do you know what I mean? I uh, had some food, passed out on the sofa. And then I woke up and I looked at my watch and it said 6. Now I really believed that it was 6am Sunday morning. I believed that I had slept all Saturday afternoon, all Saturday night, into Sunday morning. I was disorientated, I was confused. It's just me and my dog in here. And I looked outside and it was dark. Very confused, very disorientated, what's going on? Then a Christian song started playing in my head. And then I had a vision. And in that vision, I saw me being in this flat. But outside was darkness. And almost as if martial law was going on. I mean, like, probably even worse than martial law. As if, like, complete destruction has happened and there was just, like, dribs and drabs of people sort of surviving out there. It's difficult to explain visions and dreams, but it was almost as if, like, total destruction had happened out there and, there, like, this city, like like, this place that I live, this town city was like the remains of after a war sort of thing and uh 
you know, there was no civilization as we know it. There was no going to the shops. There was no electricity. There was no running water. There was, there was nothing. And there was just sort of people scratching about, sort of walking around the streets and like, as if I was sitting in here with a candlelight, you know, there's nothing out there. Yes, it's still the same flat that I live in, like before this sort of destruction, but now it's this flat after the, this, this destruction. And I had a complete survival guide, as in like the new one that I've written. It, I had it there on the table. And I was sitting there with this vision, at the same time experiencing what I've just experienced over the last 24 hours. And I'm physically sitting here, my throat's really sore, my head feels crap, I'm disorientated, I don't know where I am sort of thing. I don't know what day I'm on. And and so this is like what I'm really physically experiencing, but experiencing the vision at the same time of what things will be like in the future after a major disaster, grids down, no water, no electricity, no structure, nothing that we knew before will be then, you know? Um, total darkness, total civilization collapse. And this vision of me sitting here like with a candlelight, but at the same time physically experiencing what I've experienced from the last 24 hours, and therefore complete isolation, loneliness. And then I had this Christian song start playing in my head. And in the vision and real life combined together, I look out this window, the darkness, and I look up and I first of all feel that I am to write this into the ultimate survival guide that I'm so close to finishing right now. This experience to be 100 percent dependent upon our Lord. Our Lord got me through all of that last night and this is the absolute truth. Before I went to hospital last night there was multiple times throughout yesterday where I really believed I was going to die. Right? And be because my heart was also racing and it felt like my heart was working really hard and I went to sleep yesterday before the hospital and everything else like yesterday morning and I actually really thought for real there's a good or there's a there's a strong chance that I will not wake up again I, I really thought I was going to die okay I went through all of that and I really believe that our Lord protected me through all of that last night and I believe that our Lord turned that situation around massively. And then I wake up here completely disorientated and receive a vision of the future at exactly the same time, right? With just destruction out there, annihilation, nothing going on out there, man. Desolation. And I saw in that moment that we are to be 100% dependent upon our Lord, right? 100% dependent. And so, the purpose of this video, that the message that I'm trying to get to, is we will go through hard times, really hard times in the future. But when you go through those times, be 100% dependent upon our Lord, because our Lord is all we need over anything and everything, no matter what you go through. It's easy for Christians to stand in church right now with their lives being happy and, or things being reasonably great in life and to pray and worship our Lord. But can you as a Christian be the same Christian when complete destruction happens? Can you, when there is no running water, when there's no electricity, when your body is physically sick, when you're in pain, when there's destruction around you, can you still lift up your hands and sing and praise our Lord? We are going.
going to go through bad times as Christians in the end. But at the same time, lift up your head, man, for our redemption draws near. And through this darkness and through the pain and through the suffering, all glory to our Lord, the King of Kings. Our Lord is returning for us. So lift up your head. Have hope. Be encouraged. Look up. Lift up your head. You sing praises, man. You sing praises to our Lord, the King of Kings. Our Lord is returning for us soon. When we go through this destruction that is coming, our Lord is returning for us soon. We have hope, okay? We really do. I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, I am telling you, by absolute truth, the world out there will be a hopeless world, a barren world, all right? All you need to do is look up, sing praises to our Lord. This song came in my head immediately after. How great thou art. You know that song? This is my soul, my saviour God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. I can't sing, but you know what I mean. Through the darkness, through the pain, through the emotional turmoil, through the sickness, through it all. Look up. We have hope. We have love. We are the light in the darkness. Our Lord is the light in the darkness. And our Lord is returning for us soon. This is the message. When you go through pain, physical sickness, whatever it is that you face, whatever it is that's going on around you, right? You look up, look up. We have hope. Our Lord is King of Kings. Our Lord is returning soon. Encourage each other. <laughs> Encourage each other, love each other, support each other, edify each other. Stand tall, stand firm, stand strong. Love each other. Love. Love, 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 love. Love is key. Keep your eyes on our Lord Jesus. Have faith, trust in our Lord, in all that you do. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. In all that you do, our Lord will guide and direct your steps. Your every step, okay? For real, man. So have faith, be courageous, keep marching forwards, be strong, keep going. Love is what drives us forwards, together. I'm seeing visions right now, there's Christians out there, in the time of the end. I know that you don't see what I see. But I share with you from my heart of what I do see and receive. You be strong, man. You keep going forward with love in your heart, man. All right? We'll get each other through. We keep our eyes on our Lord, okay? Walk forward, be strong and mighty. Keep your eyes on our Saviour, for our Lord is returning soon. All right? And you look up. And you praise and worship and give thanks to our Lord. Amen. We will get through together. Amen. Bless you, man. You be safe. Pray about this video and weigh it up with our Lord's word for yourself. Our Lord's kingdom come. Our Lord's will be done. Amen. Take care. Be safe.